The past week has been a busy one for African social media users. Let's take a look at some of the trending stories from around the continent. American Instagram celebrity Charlie Jordan has sparked controversy in Rwanda after testing positive for COVID-19. The travel blogger says she came to the country to do conservation work with mountain gorillas, but was removed from her entourage by government contact tracers within days of her arrival. Internet users criticized the 21-year-old for choosing to travel at the height of a global pandemic, claiming that Rwandans don't speak English, and telling her millions of followers that since Rwanda was a quote, developing country, test results there would take five times longer than in her native US. In fact, as many commenters pointed out, Rwandans generally wait no more than two days for COVID-19 test results, whereas the average wait time in the United States is closer to a week. Jordan has since apologized, saying that she was wrong to travel during the pandemic and that being locked in a quarantine facility has led her to learn her lesson. A court in Belgium has ruled that a tooth taken from the corpse of anti-colonial Congolese independence leader Patrice Lumumba must be returned to his family. The ruling comes after Lumumba's daughter wrote to the Belgian king, asking for the relic to be returned. In 2002, Belgium formally apologized for collaborating with the CIA to plot Lumumba's death. Twitter users praised the ruling and remembered the Congo's founding prime minister as a pioneering pan-Africanist. Healthcare workers in South Sudan are happy, and they want you to know it. Doctors and nurses in the country teamed up to release a song and video educating the public about pandemic response measures. See if you can recognize the tune. Catchy and informative. We'll be singing it all day. Well, that's it from us this week. You can catch more of Africa's trending stories on our digital platforms. That's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at CGTN Africa. I'm Daniel Plafker in Nairobi. Thanks for watching.